So joining me now, former Los Angeles Police Chief and New York City Police Commissioner Bill Bratton. He's now Executive Chairman of Risk Advisory at Taneo, a global CEO advisory firm. Um, great to have you with us, uh, Chief Bratton, today. You know, I I'm curious what goes through your mind as you listen to the San Francisco mayor, and she's talking about cracking down on crime, law enforcement. What, how do you think the police and the police chief respond when they hear this very different narrative? With uh, some degree of uh, doubt, the uh, situation in San Francisco, like many other cities around the country, uh, the mayor does not control the crime problem. The district attorneys are more significant in that uh, uh, situation. And San Francisco, like Chicago, like Boston, like soon to be in New York, Atlanta, every one of these cities that's having problems, uh, take a look at the district attorneys most of them funded by George Soros and his open society. They are destroying the criminal justice system in America. They are undoing 25 years of crime decline in America. Rapidly, within two the last two years, the crime increases. Uh, we've not seen anything like it in modern history. So thank the DA. So the mayors can talk all they want. Police chiefs can complain all they want. But if these district mm -hmm. attorneys refuse to prosecute, you're not going to see any changes. Right. So, so why do you arrest? Why even try at that point when you know these people are going to be released? We've seen it here day after day in New York City. Um, I want to get your thoughts on the White House response and, and how much you think they could be doing to revise the messaging on all of this. Here's Jen Psaki talking about what's going on. Watch. Would you consider one of the reasons in the range prosecutors who are cutting people who are accused of many criminal offenses loose too quickly. I am not, as I, as I wasn't yesterday, going to give an assessment for every, uh, every, in, every motivation or reason for crime in different communities across the country. What I've noted, which you see in data, is that there has been an increase in crime since the start of the pandemic. Your response to that, sir? The pandemic is an influence, but it's largely an excuse being used by politicians. Uh, the crime was going up in New York City, New York State before the pandemic, and in many of these American cities. Uh, it, if, ironically, was used by the progressive woke left to accelerate letting people out of prison and then making an excuse not to put them in jail because they were going to be exposed to the virus. So effectively, we compounded the crime problem with COVID. So uh, it's a lame excuse, uh, being quite frank with you. It's I an influence, the... but it's not the loss. What's going on in, in New York, a city that I know you love, and this is the cover of the New York Post today, Meet the New Commissioner. This is Eric Adams, who's going to be the mayor of New York City. Uh, this is his pick for police commissioner, Keisha Sewell. Uh, she says, and in the interview that she did with the Post, that she takes violent crime seriously. She wants to crack down on it and that she wants to bring back the anti-crime plainclothes unit. She wants to make some adjustments to it. But do you see a shift coming here in New York? Does this sound good to you? More importantly than the uh, crackdown on violent crime is that she and Mayor Adams-elect understand the importance of simultaneously going after the broken windows yeah. crime, the graffiti, the vandalism, the homelessness taking over the streets. You have to do both of them at the same time. That was the success I had in the subway in 90, mm -hmm. the success in New York in 1994, the success in L.A. in 2002, the success in New York in 2014. Crime and disorder. Good news, New York now has a mayor. It now has a new police commissioner who are joined at the hip and understand you have to go after crime and disorder. Good news is also that they're both African-American. There's a significant part, unfortunately, of the crime and disorder problem in New York, as in many major American cities, is within the black population in terms of not only the offenders, but more importantly, the victims. Right. And it's the district attorneys refusing to understand that they are supposed to represent the victims, not the criminals. And they flipped it on its head. So the good news in New York is that it has a mayor and now a police commissioner who are focused on what worked in the past and it can work again. Their problem is going to be they have a group of district attorneys who every bit is potentially bad is what they have in San Francisco and other cities. Well, as you point out, it's good that they appear to be joined at the hip and that they have a mission to start to fight back against violence and to protect all of those victims, as you so rightly put it. Bill Bratton, thank you so much. Great to have you here today, sir, and good to see you. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.